Hello, welcome to Just Learn Civil. This is the sixth tutorial in soil. We will learn about railways theory. The surface plane is assumed to be plane, that is, the filler plane is assumed to be plane and it can be used to compute active and passive water pressure for both Rankine and Columns theory. It can also be applied even when the soil is cohesive. Now we have already seen this figure while studying columns or pressure theory. This is the retaining wall. This is the backfill slope, horizontal. Now we will draw a line here that will be our filler plane, which is plane. And this will be our weight. Here PA will act, here resultant will act and then we will draw force triangle and from the force triangle we will find PA. This is trial wedge theory. Since the name includes trial wedge theory, we will do multiple trial of wedges. First trial, second trial, third trial and so on. This is the weight of the wedge ABF. Draw two line parallels to the weight. Now alpha and beta are the angle. Beta is the angle made with the horizontal by the wall. Alpha is the angle made by the filler plane with the horizontal. Draw normal to the filler plane. Assume reaction are on the filler plane acting at phi angle from the normal. Similarly, for PA, it is assumed to act at delta from the normal. FV is the filler plane in the wedge APF and it is in equilibrium due to PA and R. We have already seen this figure in columns or pressure theory. Now draw a line parallel to the weight. Draw force triangle. Red represents active water pressure and this represents reaction on the filler plane. Now if you take another filler plane, the weight will reduce. Suppose this is our filler plane, then the weight has reduced. See here, the weight has reduced, only this much weight is taken and PA and R are drawn parallel respectively. ABC is a force triangle. Now value of P is determined from the force triangle as distance BC. Take another trial, BF dash. Now when BF dash is drawn, P dash C dash is the maximum. Suppose this is the out of many trial, this is the maximum PA, then it will be our maximum PA and the corresponding failure surface will be our failure surface. A common vertex line is taken for weight for all the force triangles. See here. As the weight reduces, the value reduces. As the weight increases, the value increases of the sliding weights. For Rankine, only difference is that AB is taken to be vertical, that is the wall will be here, vertical. Then we can draw pressure locus by joining these points. This is how trial wedge for column and for Rankine can be carried out. Trial wedge is simply a method of finding the earth pressure using columns theory or Rankine's theory. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, comment for any further question. Click the bell icon to get notification.